it's Julia and Kayla and we are going to show you how to siphon your tank making sure to clean your gravel and what to do with your canister filter for your first filter media change okay so Kayla is going to get her siphon started by submerging let's call it the wand in the end there and then she's squeezing the bulb until water starts flowing. So she is kind of stabbing the end of the siphon into the tank there, being careful to avoid fish. If you do suck one up, they're gonna have a really fun ride into your bucket. And you can see that the gravel stays down, but there's all kinds of stuff, mostly uneaten food, coming out with the water. So the reason why we do this first is, remember, you need to have, whoop, there goes a fish. Nope, get out. Oh, she was able to break the siphon and put the fish back in before <laughs> it went on the magical ride. <laughs> so the reason why we're doing this first is because when we get ready to clean out the inside of our canister filters, Remember, we don't want to kill all of the good bacteria that we've been building up. So we need some tank water to rinse and clean our filter media in. So after she freed that fish, she's now restarting her siphon again. And then you're going to see she pretty aggressively is moving up and down into that gravel, obviously watching out for any fish. You want to try to disturb it and move it around as much as you can. And then the loose food and poop comes right out with the water. So after we finish cleaning the gravel, you can see there's some debris in each of these buckets of a large amount of uneaten food. And, and we're not overfeeding, but you know, uneaten food and poop is what happens. So if you're not siphoning your gravel, that's gonna really negatively affect your water quality. So now we're going to get a filter canister and get it ready to be cleaned. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is unplug our filter. So remember, this has an internal pump that you don't want to run dry. Okay, so now it's shut off. It's unplugged. So now we're going to lift the red lever, which is a quick disconnect. So I think that seals it. And so a little bit of water might come out, but as you all know from experience with siphons, if that wasn't sealed, the whole tank would drain out. So <laughs> um, that was pretty good. So now we're gonna pick up the canister filter, which is full of water, so it's probably pretty heavy. Mm -hmm. And we are going to take it over to the sink where we can rinse it. Okay, so while we're looking at our tank, we noticed something. The fish protection sucker upper sponge is also dirty. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off the power strip completely. And so that we don't suck up any fish. And we're gonna reach in. And as you recall, run fish, run. That sponge just comes right off. And we can go ahead and rinse that in our bucket of tank water that's right here and put it back on. Yeah, it's like covered in poop. So we're gonna rinse it. This is um, dirty tank water so that we don't add chlorine to our system. It just slides right back on firmly. Great. Okay, so the filter is going to be on there really tight. What you're going to do is when you open it like this, you just keep pushing and it's designed to pop the top off. Once you remove your filter, it's going to be on there really tight. So what you're going to do is open it and then once it's like that, you're just going to take both hands and gently push down and that will break the seal. 
and then you can remove the lid and see what kind of gross things you have in there. Okay, so our filter has been running exactly the same amount of time as yours, a little shorter, and we are going to take a look at how things are going in here. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab this red handle and pull out all the baskets. And put them here in the sink. And we'll start with these sponges over here. Same thing. Oh. Okay, so we're gonna dump the water out of our filter, but if you hadn't done a water change, you could just go ahead and dump that into the bucket and you could use that to rinse them. We're gonna do it this way. Put them back in. You can see her water is starting to get pretty gross, which is good. It means we're doing something. And really you're just trying to get off anything slimy that might have been growing on the outside and in inhibiting water from passing through. All right, so now we are ready to reassemble our filter. Okay, so here we are back at the tank. Remember, we left the hoses here, which is convenient. So now we have to, we all have to do that. We have to get them back on. And um, hopefully without dumping a bunch of water onto the floor. So you wanna make sure you have it lined up correctly, which there's a slot that that red lever folds into. So you wanna fully seat it first, red lever, and then the gray lever opens the water. So you can hear water flowing in and filling the filter, but then you're just gonna do that or wait until the bubbles are no longer coming out of your outflow. Okay, so now our filter should be full of water. Taylor's just testing to make sure she's pumping and not seeing a bunch of bubbles. And we're gonna go ahead and plug it back in. And then we should get nice, maybe a few bubbles, but a good solid flow. There we go.